So how do you even calculate a 401k match? Let's do some math. Hey, if we haven't met, my name is Min. And on this channel, my mission is to teach you the basic building blocks about money so you can worry less and enjoy life more. If you're looking to get rich quick, this is not the channel for you. But if you want to get wealthy for sure, then hit that subscribe button for weekly videos on how to get wiser with your money. So my last video was about the basics of a 401k. As a reminder, 401ks are one of the simplest ways to pay yourself first. And the employer match is something that you definitely need to take advantage of if your plan has it. And one of my viewers asked me, how exactly do you calculate an employer match? Well, in today's video, let's do some math. And if your plan does have an employer match rate, it often might be confusing, the numbers might not make sense. So I'm gonna give you three examples to break this down for you. In this first example, this is a fixed percentage of your personal contribution. So let's say in this example, your employer will match 25% of everything you put into your 401k. So let's say you put in $10,000 of your own money. Your employer will match 25% of that, which is $2,500. Math is pretty simple here. But remember in my last video, I also want you to max out your 401k if you can, and this is what that looks like. If you decide to max out your 401k, you're gonna be contributing another 9,500 on top of the 10,000, or in total 19,500 for the year 2020. And for that $9,500, you're gonna get 2375 of employer matching to go along with that. So in this example, the max employer match will be $4,875, which mathematically is 25% of $19,500. One of the biggest downsides of this example is that you have to contribute the maximum IRS limit in order to get the maximum employer match. So if your 401k plan looks anything like this, my action to you is to contribute as much as you can and max it out if possible. In the second example, the terms of this program say 50 cents on the dollar, up to 6% of your salary. According to my research, this is one of the more popular ways that 401k matches are set up. So let's break this down. And since this is a salary-based match, let's use the example of a $100,000 salary, which I'm using because math is easier on this number. And if you take 6% of the $100,000, you're gonna get $6,000 of contribution. And 50 cents on the dollar, on that would mean $3,000 of employer match. Per my last video, you still wanna max out your 401k if you can, but there is no additional employer matching beyond that original match. So in the second example, the max employer match amount will be $3,000, which is 50% times 6% times $100,000. So if your 401k plan looks like this, the action I want you to take is to contribute at least 6% of your salary and max out your 401k if possible. One big thing to note about these plans is that your employer match amount will increase the more you make because that 6% is calculated off your base salary. So in theory, if you become a high income earner, you can actually make more off employer match in this plan than you can in my example number one. Now, before I get to the third example, I wanna share the comment that inspired me to make this exact video. And the comment says, hello, just graduated and started working. My employer says, this is in the 401k plan. You may contribute up to 19,000, which I think is higher. I think this is out of date. The company matches 60% for the first 3% and 50% for the next 3% of your contributions. I mean, that's a lot of percentages in like one single sentence. So we ask, what in the world does this mean? So let's break that apart. 60% for the first 3% and 50% for the next 3%. 4% of signs, one sentence, should not exist. Again, let's use the same example of having a salary of $100,000. That first 3% is $3,000 of personal contribution. 60% matching that is $1,800. And then the next 3% is again, another $3,000, but it's matched at 50%, which is $1,500. And like the previous example, I still want you to contribute up to the max if you can, but there's no additional matching on that amount. So let's, Let's double check my crazy math here. The total employer match for this example is $3,300. And again, that's $1,800 from the first 3% at 60% match, and another $1,500 from the second 3% or $3,000 at 50% match. Hopefully that makes sense, at least a little bit more than before. So again, if your plan looks like this one, the same action applies as before. 
contribute at least 6% of your salary and max it out if possible. Where some companies might try to edge out other companies is using a plan like this, where that first 3%, they can match 60, 70, even 100% of that first 3%, which edges it out over other companies who might not be matching as much. Hey, that does it for today's quick video. If you learned something today, give this video a like. If your 401k match looks like these or is even widely different, I'd love to know, so let me know in the comments down below. And if you want to see weekly videos on how to maximize your money, please consider subscribing. And until next week, thanks for watching. Peace.